Alright, so we're just going to run you through our custom uh, draw setup at the back of the Triton. We've got the Titan 1300 draw, um, the Universal Wing Kit, we've got the King's Fridge Slide, this one's a 60 litre, um, and so we're going to make a custom fridge box. Uh, so we've actually had to try and match up some carpet, as close as we can get is this grey one from BCF. So we've got 2x2 two two metre um, length, and that should be able to carpet our whole fridge box. So we're going to actually fill in some of the walls with this mesh here, just for a bit of ventilation for the fridge. And also you can have a some accessories off it as well. So here's our pre-cut 12mm um, ply. It's actually the same thickness as the wing panel kit, um, so we match that up. So this will all be, all be carpeted, except we've pre-painted the inner sides of the fridge box, because that'll just, we we're not going to carpet that, um, so it'll just stay satin black. Alright, so now all the pieces have been carpeted and stapled together. All we've got to do now is assemble the box and install it into the tub. So I'm just going to have to elongate this hole a little bit because it just doesn't quite let this bracket be flush. So this is getting custom holes too then I guess. So getting these universal wing kits, um, obviously being universal they do not match up at all. Um, but just some simple modifications and we'll get it, um, get it to fit. So I'm just going to have to modify the rear bracket for this um, wing panel. Supposed to be universal, but the trot has high wheel arches, so the wing panel actually doesn't fit. Hey. 
Alright, so the rear drawer setup is finally complete. Alright, so we'll start with the fridge box. And we've made it slightly bigger so that we can actually upgrade our fridge further down the track. Uh, we've just got the Waco CFX 35. Um, obviously we'll try and put something a bit bigger in there down the track. Now this one's a bit of a fluke. I managed to make it so that the lid opens perfectly. So the front of the fridge box is actually angled at the front here, so that when we close the canopy window, we've actually got clearance. As you can see here, the mesh on the side of the fridge box is going to come in handy to hang some accessories. Now it's also very important for the ventilation for the fridge. And then behind the fridge box itself, we've just got a, another little storage box, put our recovery gear in. The drawer itself, the Titan drawer, not the best quality drawer on the market, that's for certain. Um, it'll do for now, probably will look at upgrading it further down the track. Now the wing panels, they are really what you make of them. Obviously you got to cut fit um, your vehicle. One size fits all, but it's sort of the quality of the finish is really up to you how much time you want to spend on it. So make sure that you really try and get the, the really nice, neat finish. Um, stop anything falling down the cracks on the side that you don't want to lose. Now we've left a bit of room at the back behind the drawers and the wing panels to put our gravity-fed slimline water tank. And we will have a compressor mounted in this wing panel. So we'll have the compressor outlet here, and then we'll have a little tap coming out the bottom here. So all our 12 volt system, including the battery, is gonna be hidden down under this wing panel here. There'll be just enough room to sneak everything in. Um, so we'll try and put a switch panel in the front here, try and keep it nice and neat, and just have the, the fridge power outlet we met on the inside of the fridge box down the back. All right, so pretty happy with how it's all come together. Um, all in all, it probably cost us around the thousand dollar mark. Probably would invest in a better quality draw, um, but there's probably a little bit of room that we can change that up a little bit later. Cheers for watching.